Alligat's end of year so today is just kind of like a wrap up of my LA trip what I didn't get to discuss in my trip video my trip vlog if you haven't watched my vlog check it out it's pretty awesome I must say and I'll just give you a little details about the trip and some stuff that happened show some pictures so let's have a good time okay so me and Marcus flew out on October 28th and that was my first ever plane ride and I was so scared but like once it took off I was just I was, I was fine and like when I'm in a scary situation I start to laugh so I was laughing while we were taking off and Marcus was like what's so funny and I'm like <laughs> we're taking off I'm scared to death I'm laughing my head off <laughs> not like that actually it was a genuine laugh but we get to LA and we go to the car dealership and we get to pick out a compact car of our choice and there's a ton of like Chevy Cruises and Kias and then we see one Fiat which was chocolate brown and we both said at the same time, Fiat! So we went and got the Fiat and we're driving around beep, 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 doop, 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 and we discover LA traffic is pretty bad. Like it's nothing compared to our hometown. Like people, you can still turn left on red lights. We learned that. We learned that people don't really stop at stop signs. They kind of just roll through and that it's very confusing to navigate around LA but it's kind of fun too like it's kind of like if you have a daredevilish side it's kind of like really fun to drive or ride in LA traffic but we stayed at the Sovatel Los Angeles which was a super nice hotel oh my gosh it was so beautiful and I'm just I was in awe of it like there were so much beautiful things there and there's a party there while we were there uh, Gilles Bin Simone He's a photographer. He had a photo, uh, photography exhibition there when we were staying there, which was super awesome. And we got to go to the party because we were staying in the hotel, so we got to go to a party. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. And then we went shopping to the... There's like a mall across the street, so we went basically every day and shopped there. And we didn't really... We went to Malibu Beach, Santa Monica Beach, and Venice Beach. And I'll show you some pictures from Malibu... Yeah, I told you the story about how Marcus had to drag me up the sand bank. Yeah, that wasn't fun, but I'll show you some pictures from Malibu right now. And those are my pictures of Malibu, which we did not catch me doing my embarrassing fall up the sand banks. I'm sorry about that. And we did get to meet the Game Control Live people, which I was so excited about. I was nervous about meeting them, but I, that once I met them, it was just nervous when it went away because they're just as awesome in person as they are on the show. They're probably even more awesome in person. Dave is probably the sweetest, most genuine guy I've ever met. He's really a sweetheart, and he's just, he's amazing. And he does have a YouTube, which he promoted in my LA trip video. So if you haven't checked out Dave's channel, go to Dave Control Live. He talk he talks about Dark Souls and plays Dark Souls in Kingsfield. And Grant Corman, he's super awesome, super, super awesome. And he has a website, nerdluster.com. And then I got to meet John and Erica Quick. They were awesome. John's just like he is on the show. He talks exactly the same, which I thought was awesome. He has an amazing voice. And Erica so sweet. She's so shy, but she's so sweet. And I'm so jealous that she's a Canadian because I've always wanted to go to Canada. And they're really awesome. We went to the counter, which is this really cool, like, build-your-own-burger place, but it's very hip, and it was very close to our hotel. We stayed in Beverly Hills, so that was really awesome. I wish I could have met Kaori and Rachel, but maybe next time that I'm in L.A., which actually I might be in L.A. in a few months, so yay! Maybe we can meet up then, and I'll show you the pictures from the Game Control Live meetup right now. And then the next day, after the GCL meetup and we went to Malibu, we went to Venice Beach, which I have to say I didn't care for Venice Beach very much. There's a lot of pot being sold. It's very dirty. A lot of weirdos. I'm sorry if you like Venice Beach. I just don't care for it. I'm more of the higher, I, I like the classier places. I'm sorry. But it's interesting to see, but I don't ever want to go back to Venice Beach, okay? It's kind of scary. And... 
I got to meet my out of count Luna, but we like got to hang out for like an hour, which made me really sad. And if I ever go, well, when I do go back to LA, because I am going back, we can hang out more Luna if you would like, because you were super awesome. And then we hung out with one of Marcus's friends from Catfish, which I told a few people a story. I don't want to relay it on camera, but yeah, let's just say I didn't have the best night. So, but his friend was super nice. I liked his friend, but the night just wasn't that fun for me. And yeah, it wasn't. But I'll just get past that, okay? But one good thing about that now is I did get to meet Julia Price, which if you don't know who Julia Price is, she's this amazing singer on YouTube. And she covers songs and she has her own original songs. And she's just gorgeous and she's super sweet in person. She's so bubbly and charismatic and she was just as, as excited to meet me, I think, as I was excited to meet her because I was just like, oh my gosh, it's Julia Price. And I asked for a picture and she's like, yeah, sure. So I've got pictures to show you in the video, and she's just nice. I met her friend, Monica Gione. I, I'm sorry, Monica, if you're watching this. I have your business card. I just didn't look at your name. I'm sorry, but she's awesome, too. She's an actress. And it was so nice to meet both of y'all. And I just, I want to go back to L.A. so bad. I miss all my friends, and I miss all the people I didn't get to meet. And... My trip was amazing, and our last day we went to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios, which I've never, I had never been to a Universal Studios park before, and it was pretty awesome. We went to the through the Walking Dead tram, Terror Tram, where you go through like the little, just, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. You're just constantly bombarded by walkers and people with chainsaws, and they always went to me, to me. It never failed. One even hit the back of my head with his walker teeth. It was kind of, and like one got so close to my neck I could feel his breath on my neck and it was awesome. But <laughs> they always went for me and Marcus made me walk in front. So Marcus, no. And we also went to the Insidious House, which was pretty creepy. It was mostly based on the first movie. And of course I had to play tiptoe through the tulips while we walked through it. And we also went to the Walking Dead at attraction not the terror tram we went to the terror tram but there's also an attraction where you went through the prison in woodbury and that was super freaky as well and of course everyone went for me again but i'm not complaining because i love the walking dead and then we rode the mummy which is my first kind of roller coaster which marcus is like oh this is for weenies it goes on the side and flips upside down and goes backwards at super high speeds in the dark that is not for weenies and that's where my picture came from, where I'm closing my eyes, and I was laughing the whole way through, because you know I laugh when I get scared. And then we went on the Jurassic Park River, River Adventure ride, which is super fun. I loved it. We got soaked. I loved to see the dinosaurs, and that was really fun. That drop, though, is intense. If you've ridden that ride, you know that drop is intense. But I had a lot of fun at Universal Studios at, at Halloween Horror Nights. A lot of people came up and scared me that worked there because apparently I'm a victim and a random girl just came up to me I was wearing my E Walking Dead shirt from Loot Crate and she wanted to take a picture of me because of my shirt I was like oh my gosh yes you can take a picture of me so I was like posing and all that even though she just wanted a picture of my shirt I was posing so I'm on some random stranger's Facebook or probably or Instagram so yeah I mean I wish I still wish I was there because I have suffered a little bit of depression because I really want to be in LA. I loved it there. I feel like I belong there. Like I was so at home there and everyone everyone was so friendly. Everyone like before I went everyone told me that people were like douchebags or whatever but everyone was so nice there to me at least and I love it there. It's beautiful. It's got great weather, great shopping and I've got a lot of friends there and I really love it. Even the bad parts that well, they're not really bad, just not fun, like traffic. Like, traffic was probably the worst part for me. And I did miss being away from my parents and my cat and my game systems, but I kind of miss L.A., and I'm really tired of being in my hometown. So I'm trying to get find a job in L.A. I really want to live there. I know it's expensive. It's super expensive, trust me. Like, you have to pay to park everywhere. There's a parking meter on every street, so you cannot park for free there. Like, we found a post office where... I ship my stuff, which is actually the post office Rachel Moore uses, and we didn't have to park there. That was amazing. That was the only place we didn't have to park. But other than the parking and the traffic, 
And that's about it. I mean, those are the only cons. I love LA. I love it. And I want to live there, like, so bad. And I want to go back. And I think I'm going back in a, couple, in a few months, so that's going to be fun. Because my dad is like, yeah, you can go back in a few months. Because since I did this by myself, basically, they trust me now to do branch out and do other things. And I've kind of got the traveling bug now, so I'm just kind of like, yay. And this was just a trip of many first. The first of being away from my parents for so long. The first plane ride. The first roller coaster ride. The first haunted attraction ride because my parents would never take me to haunted houses when I was younger. The first time I got to meet people that I, I watched on the internet. It was just so much first. So many firsts. And I had so much fun. And I'm so glad I got to go. I'm so glad I got to meet everyone that I got to meet. I love each and every one of you. And I can't wait to be back in L.A. And thank you for watching this video. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because I make epic videos of epic geekiness about video games and entertainment. Sometimes I do fashion videos, just whatever I feel like. And like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below and favorite so your friends and family can see. I love each and every one of you. Peace and kisses. Bye.